Yo, 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 this is your boy Fireworks, and welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. So, I know you all saw the thumbnail. Of course, we got more Yeezy merch to review, all right? So, um, after the Vultures 1 release, he kind of took some stuff off. The pods, the Vulture stuff. What's up right now is the Black Dogs, Gosha tees, sweatpants, and hoodies, and along with this, the solid black hoodie right now. So, I was able to go ahead and I copped the heather gray gosha black dogs hoodie and gosha black dogs t-shirt i really didn't do the sweatpants i'm not into like heather gray sweatpants i might end up getting them down the road before you take them off but um i wanted to order this stuff and this stuff also was on the website before they released the f adidas shirt and some of the other gosha like the gosha black hoodie and um the regular black hoodie which i still want to order but Looks like we got some Yeezy merch to unveil or take a look at, all right? So if you're new here to the channel, make sure you guys hit and subscribe, tap the notification bell so when I do a video just like this, you all will get it first. And of course, you can look on the channel. I do have other Yeezy merch. I got foam runners. I got slides. Um, I did the Yeezy pods of my first pair that I got and as well as some of the other Vultures merch, okay? So we're gonna take a look at the Gosha Black Dogs merch, Heather Gray stuff. I'm Fireworks. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And we back. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that this part right here is what says the, uh, you know, black dogs, I guess in Russian because of the designer that, uh, that he works with, that he knows. The material is not like a Yeezy Gap hoodie, so I don't want people to get misconstrued. This is not a Yeezy Gap hoodie. It's almost kind of in between. It's not heavy, but it's not light either. Um, it kind of feels like a really, really high quality gilding, but it's definitely not gilding. There's definitely quality to it. Um, and yes, of course, I'm gonna try this stuff on. I just wanted to kind of get you guys to have a closer look at it. And yes, this is a size three. So if you go in here, it looks like there's a tag and you should see there, kind of there, it says size three, all right? So, yeah, this is the Gosha Black Dogs Heather Gray hoodie. I know it might be kind of just basic, but it looks and feels amazing, to be honest with you. I haven't tried it on yet, but I've seen other reviews. They said the hood's really small and that the arms are kind of baggy and stuff like that, like the Easy Gap hoodies, but... We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the t-shirt now. All right, so here you can see this is the Gosha Heather Gray Black Dogs box tee, all right? And this is a size two, as you can tell up there. There is no um, sizing in the collar or inside the shirt. All the tags, looks like for the Gosha stuff, seem to be on the inside there. And you can see there that I did get a size two in this t-shirt. now. I did order, for people who know this channel, I ordered my girl White Gold one in a size one. And um, I haven't got her to try it on yet, but the size one does look big. Now in these shirts, they're a lot more boxier and seem to be a little bit more bigger than the Vultures merch, or at least the Vultures um, one box tee. This looks to be around the same size as the actual Vultures logo t-shirts and stuff like that. So. Um, I'm actually, you know, excited. It has like some stitching here on the actual sleeve now. Not like the, uh, my other box one tee doesn't really have that. And then there's some stitching here at the bottom and stuff like that you guys can see here. But it looks to be kind of all one piece. There's no stitching there. It really seems to be like two pieces that have kind of been put together front and back. And again, even on this t-shirt, it's really, really, really good quality. Um, it doesn't feel like a gilding. It looks and feels like I want to say a step up It's not even like a Hanes like beefy tee because I know my t-shirts a little bit, but um, It looks to feel more like some higher quality Type, you know, I don't understand or know what Kanye's material usage is um, But you know a lot of his clothes that I wear I'm, I'm someone who gets hot really easily and I'm always comfortable in Kanye's clothes. So I'm actually excited that this came out a little bit better than I thought. I expected this Heather Gray t-shirt to be more lightweight than this. It does kind of give off like a heavy feel to touch, but at the same time, it feels light. 
and it feels like I can wear this maybe even in the summertime or warm weather. So again, you all let me know how you feel about the Box Gosha Black Dogs t-shirt, all right? So you can see here I'm wearing the Heather Gray Gosha Black Dogs t-shirt, all right? So I think it fits good. Um, again, it does fit me kind of like, you know, the Yeezy Vultures Box T, the number one t-shirt. So people out there, you know, you know, you have that shirt. I would buy the same size in that shirt. If you're going to buy this, buy it in that one, all right? So as you all can see, there's nothing on the back of it. You know what I'm saying? It's just only on the front it has i guess the black dogs logo here but again like i said if you all have bought any of the vultures merch if you bought the vultures box one t-shirt this fits a lot like the vultures box t-shirt now this is kind of what it looks like with shorts on i'm actually surprised like i said when i felt it it felt like it was kind of heavy enough to wear during warm weather but it now you know it, it you know it feels a little light so i can wear it in the summertime it's not as heavy as you think especially with the Heather Gray. I thought it was gonna be more like a tri-blend, um, but he's actually found like a good quality Heather Gray shirt. And I actually am really impressed. This one fits me, you know, probably the best out of all the Yeezy shirts that I bought. This kind of fits more towards a regular shirt or maybe more towards that boxy look that he was going for. Cause like I said, on the end of these shirts, they're stitching and stuff on my black box Vultures tee. It looks just more like it's kind of cut off. This looks a little bit more cleaner. But I, it looks good. I think I feel good. You know, I feel comfortable in it. I feel like I can wear it. And I feel like I got the right size. You all let me know how you all feel about the t-shirt. You know, I think it looks good. It feels good. And I think actually White Gold will like hers if she can fit it. I don't know if she can fit it or not. I bought her a size one. You know what I'm saying? So this is what it looks like with Yeezy Vultures sweatpants. That's what I have on right now is the Yeezy Vultures sweatpants. I know you guys can't see the end. But I think, you know, as far as gray on black i think i i got it right because i didn't want to buy the gray sweatpants i'm just not a fan of gray sweatpants i like black i had two pair of the black vultures pants so i was like okay you know i can get the black hoodie wear it with one pair get the other stuff and wear it with this you know what i'm saying so this definitely feel good oh size three is perfect okay so as you all can see i have baggy arms all right so the the, the sleeves are baggy different length um, it does have like a kind of like a an elastic, you know, kind of band at the end of it. It does feel kind of cropped. There's no pockets. It's just kind of like a regular hoodie. As you can see, it's kind of baggy, which I kind of like my hoodies this way. I feel like once you wash it, it will definitely come in a little bit. So it'll, you know, be a little bit more uh, snug, but not, you know, super snug. Stuff doesn't shrink like that, but I think it looks good. Y'all let me know it. In the comments how you all feel about the hoodie now let's check out the hood yeah the hood is pretty tiny y'all i can't even lie the hood on this hoodie y'all can see the hood on this is kind of tiny you know what i'm saying but i think all in all i'm satisfied with it i think it looks good what do y'all think gosha black dog hoodie and the hoodie feels actually kind of warm it's not a tri-blend either it has some good quality to it you all can see, you know, the arms kind of remind me of like the Yeezy Gap stuff, which I like. It's kind of baggier, you know what I'm saying? But it's not as heavy as the Yeezy Gap stuff. If you all have Yeezy Gap hoodies, the Gosha stuff is not as heavy. The most heaviest stuff that I've got from Yeezy is these pants so far. I don't know if the Heather Gray pants are the same as this or if they're different material or the same material as the hoodies. I don't know, but... I think the hoodie looks good. I didn't want to get it kind of small and snug because I have longer arms. My, my hands can almost touch my knees, just kind of having my arms straight down. So it's tough for me when it comes to hoodies. And this is what it looks like with the Yeezy pants. I actually like this outfit. You know what I'm saying? For people who don't want to buy the gray sweats, you know, the vulture sweats go perfect with it. You feel me? Black Dogs Yeezy merch. I think it was a success. I enjoyed myself with the review. I think all the clothes, finally, now that I've done some experimentation with the Vulture stuff, uh, I think that all the stuff fits really, really well, and it's really, really comfortable, y'all. Um, I know some of this stuff may kind of just look basic, but once you get it, it definitely has that quality touch or like a step up of what we're normally used to buying. It does have that quality. Again, y'all let me know down in the comments how you feel about the Gosha Black Dogs Yeezy merch, okay? Um, again, I got other reviews on the channel, the pods, the Yeezy shirts and the sweatpants. And then now along with this, 
as long as some shoe reviews, slides, Yeezy phone runners and stuff like that. So you can check those reviews. They are on the channel and probably by now I have a playlist so you can just go and find it real easy, you dig? But before I get out of here, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and leave a like. If you're new here to the channel, hit subscribe and tap the notification bell so when I do a video just like this one, you all will get it first, all right? So again, I said I wasn't gonna mess with the Yeezy Black Dogs merch, but here I am. I can't stop buying Yeezy stuff, especially while it's 20 bucks. You dig? Still waiting on pods, so people who are waiting on shipping and stuff, be patient, it takes some time. And I've also heard that Kanye's, you know, pulling them out of China now, and there should be mass produced and be coming a lot faster now. So um, this stuff really didn't take that long. I wanna say it took maybe two or three weeks to get here. I wanna say I ordered it like two weeks ago, and then I got a tracking number, you know, a week later. So I think I'm gonna order the jersey. I don't know about the hoodies yet. Uh, you all let me know in the comments again how you all feel, okay? Make sure you all stay in tune to the channel because I got more content on the way, all right? I'm Fireworks. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel, and I'm out.